Hey, welcome. This is the uh, Ballad of Billy Balloon. It's a, a light-hearted political satire about balloons and government. Billy Balloon was a weather balloon. He always knew which way the winds were blowing. Billy Balloon came down from the skies. He had a sparkle of excitement in his eyes. All the other balloons stopped their play. They wanted to hear what Billy had to say. Today, when I was very high, something happened up in the sky. I met a balloon from a different room. None of his friends had ever assumed that other balloons might be roomed. This was news, an historical schmooze, big, big news. Since there are others, let's get together and talk about their kinds of weather and what they do for fun and how they earn precious helium. United we float, divided we deflate. Let's ban the pin before it's too late. In order to stop deflation, we can make up some legislation. A united ballonery. I can hardly wait. It will be fantastic. It will be great. So they floated out to find the others, to gather all the sisters and Balloonian brothers, finding many different shapes and sizes. Some even had some romantic surprises. And all agreed it would be ideal to gather into one patriotic appeal. Right on, gas, bro, my second the motion. All were lifted by the balloonery notion. So, the date for the first Congress was set. Every balloon wanted to go, you can bet. But, so many things had to be done to earn their precious helium. So they decided to have an election, and for the winner, take up a collection, and each balloon would gladly give a tiny bit of helium so that their senator could equally live. Unanimously, Billy was chosen to go, since he was a national hero. He left to meet and consider the greater goals, to pledge their fortunes and their heliated souls, that balloon of every round and bend would have the joy of life to spend. That's how they started, with minds united, with freedom song their lamp was lighted. Prosperity meant Bill's room kept on growing, weather machinery humming, satellites glowing, larger populations kind of willy-nilly, kept giving their portions of helium to Billy, and so it naturally came to pass. He had to get a bigger and bigger and bigger bag to hold all his gas. Now, Billy doesn't wear his cap anymore. A top hat's better on the Senate floor changed his name to William, then to W.B., and once more, even his mother swore she did not know what the B stood for. And feeling he was heaven sent, decided to float for president. Oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. He began forgetting about the goals started watching the winds, the poles, strategically passing taxes and tolls, and pet personal loop-de-loop -loop holes. And you know what the historians say. Billy did not return one day. Seems that he and the entire Congress had gotten so full of gaseousness that they floated away. Exactly where? We do not know. Billy Balloon, where did you go? Goodbye, 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 Billy. Remember, laughing gas 
will make you silly. <laughs>